The Liberation. Uh, after much bloodshed and turmoil, the Metropole is finally back in our hands. After so much hackish war, we've at least at last freed our brothers and sisters who lived for all too long under social tyranny. And Paris is ours once again, however. Much turmoil lies ahead. The war devastated France with our beautiful country now lying in ruins, and a far from insignificant part of the population still misguided enough to sympathize with the socialists. We have won the war, but now it follows us to win the peace. Let's set to work. Oh, good God. Post-war devastation. Oh, Jesus. I get cored at least. Um, so La Liberation is finished. Uh, um, where are we here? Uh, we'll read that in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and do... Oh, good God, we must have lost a lot of political power. The move from Algiers to Ile de France has greatly impacted the efficiency of our administration, with bureaucrats having to forget 20 years of established practice. Meanwhile, this has been cruelly exploited by what social resistance remains and what civil disorder now all too common. We must work to reduce the impacts of the situation, investing in new bureaucratic training in offices and reinforcing uh, police force. And La Liberation. After so many long and uh, years of pain and struggle in the name of French freedom, we finally return to the mainland, freeing our brothers from the tyranny of socialism. Our beautiful country, however, lies in ruins, devastated by the worst war in its history, and the return to the metropole after years of exile has caused chaos within our administration. Remedying these many issues will, of course, be no easy feat. Also, I did use peace conferences to make sure we got all of France. I did give all of Germany, all of the Union of Britain, since they did, did get Scotland, and I guess Deutsche Ostasien did get London and stuff like that, which was weird. So they got that, so in, so we got Paris, even though we didn't technically claim it ourselves or get it ourselves. It is what it is. I thought it was a relatively fair trade, and Spain was going to die, but la terra ella ne men pa. How was this one? After much bloodshed, sweat, and tears, La Matri, savior of the Holy France, has done the impossible. Coming from the barbaric backwater of Africa, he has led the last two Frenchmen to the rightful inheritance and purged the cynical scum from the metropole, now sitting in Paris. Joseph Darnan has near unlimited potential. As many enemies are cowed or dead in the degenerates and subhumans who deign to, or dine to call themselves cynicalists, cower in their hovels, and pray to the gods Marx and Engels that they may survive, Darnan is all too happy to relieve them of these delusions. He shall wash away the cynical stain with the lifeblood of those who sought to sustain it on their graves, and he will build a new, better France. Oh, focus of the legionary state. Oh, God, we have different orders we can... Oh, goodness. Oh, man. We're going to play several different times, aren't we? But, address the devastation. In the aftermath of the war in the Hurricanes, battles required at every step to free the nation, much of France now lines the ruins. The pre-war socialist economies collapsed with countless millions, not only jobs, but without any jobs to seek. With the former factories and farmers, our farms have been torn to pieces. As such, we must urgently invest in relief for the people and begin rebuilding the country. Socialist resistance rises. Although I've set France free, um, it is quite clear that not everyone in the nation sees it in these terms. A large part of the population was sufficiently misguided in the war to go beyond simply defending their nation and actively support the socialist regime. Now the socialists have been toppled. Many of the men have gone underground, reforming resistance cells, and seeking to attack and undermine the legitimate government. Defeating these threats will be no easy task. Oh, god dang it. Um, is there anything we can do here? Also, we are finishing up the transparent construction project, so if you don't worry about that, please go right ahead. Uh, not bad, not bad. Um, but yeah. Demobilize? Yeah, I don't think so. We still gotta build more stuff, as much stuff as possible. Also, we are here on the mainland now, which is very nice. We're gonna cut this down even more, but at the same time, we are going to hit things a little harder as well. It is 42, so let's get some better guns, shall we? Yes, we shall. Oh god, another canceling on aggression packs, which is fine, whatever. I do, we don't have enough divisions here, so let's get four, and we're gonna make these chunky boys. Like, 40 combo widths. 40 plus combat with I like I like them chunky. If they're not chunky. I don't want them. Even though it would be better to do this with uh, superior firepower. These are still some thick daddy boys. Uh, it's 1942, so we'll probably go to war with these guys as well over here. So we got plenty of political power to be honest with you. Heavy social resistance. Oh man, I don't even know. Yeah, go focus on the Republic of Iran. Who is this? Oh, conquest for the glory of France. We have a lot to go. National recovery? Oh, goodness. Rebuild industry? Oh, my goodness. It's going to take forever to do. Are you guys still at war? Who are you at war with? Oh, those guys down there? No. Uh, yeah, no. Um, on Long Shemin. It seems like we'll probably go this direction. Ooh. That's not bad. That's actually really good. Eventually. Fate of socialist bureaucrats. Government required a vast network of administrators and bureaucrats to last as long as it did, and now that we vanquished it, we set on our policy towards these men who have been enabled our foes to survive as long as they did. Well, many believe that it's time to make vengeance on these traitors and put them on, all on trial. Some argue that the less ideologically committed could be given new jobs in our administration, where their experience may true, truly be vital. Purge the lot. Let off the lesser defenders. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to purge the entire lot. They're all traitors. All, every single last one of them. Also, we finished our land auction. We finished our air auction. So... It is what it is. 
Uh, we got some comments as well, such as... Wouldn't it have been better in the last video to support the Constitution of American Republic and the American Civil Discourse? They have a rights back path. You have a rights back path. It's just good form. Honestly, I did off screen before I helped out the Canadians. Also, America did win here. The United States of America, the federal government did win. Uh, I did help them out, but by that time it was too late for us to really save them. So, and then I just supported Canada just to get some more army XP because we honestly needed it. Oh, Roman D, huh? Oh. Oh, goodness. Let's go look see then. Well, do we have any resistance here? You know, we're still doing okay. Your age is going to hope about Germany someday, but you know, you never know. Oh, they're doing the. Oh, boy. Oh, goodness. Um, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Civilian oversight. Coming to France. Is there anything here we can do? Civilian oversight, huh? Well, alright. We still, still got a decent amount of manpower, to be honest. Oh! Oh, goodness. Yeah, I, I, if we can, we're not going to join that. I refuse to join that. Um, yeah, that's not good. Research French rule eventually. Uh, address devastation, yeah. Yeah. Oh, good God. Not a lot of manpower. So it's just resistance clients. With the forces uh, working tirelessly to cease or to weed out and counter the uh, insurgents or resistance movements, really, of the former commune arts, we're at least lasting seeing results. And these groups increasingly lose strength, drawing public eye for the violent actions and are struggling to successfully challenge government. However, they remain strong in some areas, and it's vital that we stay vigilant. They'll be done before you know it. Awesome. Oh, more factories. Nice. Uh, get those tanks. Get those big old tank boys. Just one more. Get rid of that stuff for now. We want to build up probably some fuel as well. I love 80%, but I prefer 100%, but whatever. Uh, are we missing anything here besides tanks? No, we're looking pretty decent on everything, actually. Go figure. We get at least one there. Uh, we probably don't need any more guns, just more planes, casts. Sounds about right to me. A little bit more arty, perhaps. Fighters, yeah. I'm just worried that the Germans will attack before we're really ready. Oh, hello. Oh, the Germans are attacking. Ah, uh, we could get involved. But are our divisions really ready for that? I don't think so. Oh my gosh. I don't even care. That's just too much. It's fine. Carrier fighters, whatever. I don't even care. Belgium can die. Yeah, we, I, I just don't think that we'll be able to do anything there. Hello. Oh! Reconstruction of the Metropole. The Metropole has been officially or horrifically ravaged by the Liberation and now falls also to consolidate a control over it and undo the horrendous damage done by the war. Oh, get a core. Oh, it's, oh, God. Oh, that's a 14. Yes, as I'm bad. Rebelled civilian industry in Paris. Sure, why not? There's a lot of cities doing this, but whatever. A new Marseille, ever since the beginning of our expansion in Northern Africa. The port of Marseille has been an instrumental hub linking the Metropole and the colonies. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, many businesses and industries that fled during the Civil War have begun relocating back into their metropoles. Several, however, have decided to stay where they are. In order to serve their businesses, we must work towards expanding the port facilities of Marseille and place it back on the map as one of the largest shipping ports of Europe. Housing the homeless. Uh, military industry in Provence. Bordeaux. Military industry in Bordeaux. Light of Lyon. The city of Lyon was turned into a fortress by the communards during their retreat northward. As such, the city took a beating during the fighting to liberate the population. We must take up the mantle to rebuild the city and restore the light to this once beautiful city. Yes. The war to liberate France was tragically destroyed much of the beautiful nation. And now all but too many good citizens are without any work or even housing. Resolving these people's plight must be an urgently an urgent priority for our government, and as such, various proposals have been made for relief. The most popular proposal is that we build new camps in which to house and process those who have been made homeless before putting them in rebuilt housing. Uh, when it's possible, on the other hand. Some argue that we should make use of the abandoned trade union and government offices as temporary accommodation, cutting the cost by reducing the quality of life and the ease of administration. Build new camps? Abandoned social offices? So the increase, uh, uh, they'll be, they very may well be traitors. Build new camps. We have the PP for it. That's fine. Address devastation. Yeah, we want to get rid of this devastation as fast as possible. That is the most important thing. 
Uh, let's see, uh, settle or Tunis. With the Mitchell pole back in her hands, there are now millions of Frenchmen seeking to, as they see it, come home. These men and women are not only expect a settlement and a resumption of life, as it was before the Revolution, but also restoration of their old properties. Of course, fully meeting these demands would generate much resentment against the Frenchmen who never left the Mitchell pole, but those, those whose loyalty we need to gain. And we have no civvies. Sorry, y'all, but like, uh, there's nothing we can really do about that. Cairo access, huh? Central African Empire, huh? And there go the Belgians. Resistance reprisals. During the war, the resistance which valiantly stayed on the Metropole to await a return came into control swaths of the territory or country. Forming the only reliable local administration, as socialists were killed or fled, and politicians had to stay in Algiers to be close to power. Our reports now are reaching Ile de France of heavy handed policies adopted by these triumphant resistance fighters, with three tribunals of local socialists. <coughs> Excuse me, or sometimes simply those whom resistance members have grudges. Furthermore, the reliability of these trials have been heavily questioned, and the executions that often follow are seen by some as mere lynchings. This matter is like, highly delicate for us due to our great debt to the resistance, but also the potential embarrassment if news of this becomes more widespread, so we'll have to tread carefully. Rain and import causes trouble? Turn a blind eye? Your grievances are just. Stand by them. It's pretty obvious which way I wanted to go. Wow, hungry is getting funky. Oh, the Eurasian box, box flock, a little bit of block is fighting the Jonah Ajibun. They're doing not too bad too. Huh. All right, demobilize, rebuild Normandy. Yes, dance rubber. I spent a lot of time making sure we're okay and build up a lot of stuff here. Fence looking oh, okay. Just keep training because you can, because why not? Nice. Address the devastation. 6% more consumer goods, more critical population factor. Construction speed, cap, output, factory repair speed. Nice. Assert legitimacy. It's pretty good. More political power, even though we don't really need more political power right now. Could use more stability, though. Charles of the Communards. Uh, I do like this one quite a bit. Stabi weekly stability is nasty. Are we losing weekly stability? We are. We build industry. Um, nas effort national. Assert legitimacy. There can be no longer any doubt that we alone are capable of governing France. Socialism is broken around the world. And the strength of the socialist resistance within France is rapidly declining. New propaganda campaigns and investments in law and order will ensure that every citizen respects us as his nation's sole legitimate government. Rebuild industry. If the economy is ever recovered from the horrific damage done by the war, we must rebuild the hundreds of factories that turn to rubble by bombs and shells. New government agencies and millions of francs of funds will ensure that the ruined industrial complexes can be rebuilt, using labor programs that can put these or put those impoverished by the war back on the track to prosperity. Trial of the Communes. With well, the greater part of the Communes' leadership now safely in prison, we can arrange for them to stand trial for the crimes against France and its people, but the matter of sentencing these men may prove controversial, and the government will need to trade carefully in the coming weeks, dealing with their returnees. In the aftermath of the revolution, some two million Frenchmen fled to Algeria from the emerging communist tyranny. Over the next decade and a half, they built new lives in North Africa, new homes, jobs, and in the case of young exiles, new families. <coughs> now that France has been liberated, though, these men and women expect to return to the metropole. <coughs> Excuse me, and resume their lives as they were before the revolution, including having their property restored to them. However, these properties have been used by other po others for years for years now, and locals will be loath to give it up to those who see them as having conquered them. In light of this, many in the government propose that we allow exiles to return to their old homes and regain their own businesses, on the condition that they give up ownership of the properties they gained in North Africa to the state, which can and that invest profits from these properties and reconciling and compensating those who stayed in the metropole. Nevertheless, there are many who believe that the returnees are entitled to their property unconditionally, while others would rather we establish local committees to resolve property disputes more fairly. Lose stability, more political power. Uh, restore as long as they give up their African properties. Establish local communities to settle the matter. For 90 days? Get oh, that's not bad, yeah. I'm totally fine with that. Half a national. The reconstruction of the nation and the economy require the dedication of every loyal Frenchman, regardless of politics and former allegiances. A new government program, dubbed the Effort National, will ensure that every working man knows that the rebellion of the nation and acceptance of the new government is the only rational choice for him, his own family, and his community around him. Meanwhile, it's time to take the state to further its investment. Uh, into salvaging of the industry and economic relief. If you're about this, please go ahead. Um, uh, what does it do with the communist policemen? As we restore order in the metropole, we badly need a police force to assist us. But the professional policemen are in short supply, as many need to remain in the colonies to maintain order there, and many others were conscripted and wounded or killed in the war. Meanwhile, there are a thousand policemen who did their jobs in the commune who would almost be willing to resume their work for our government, nonetheless. Many hardliners argue that these men would taint themselves by serving the communist regime and that we should not allow them any influence further. 
Are they redeem, redeem, redeem themselves? No. Restore the city of Cain. The land was bombing over the course of the war proved catastrophic for the city and the surrounding region. Few buildings were spared. We must spare no effort in rebuilding in Normandy. Yeah, probably. Honestly, who takes stability yet? Alright, whatever. I don't care. Better anti air, maybe. Or we can focus on like medium stuff. God, uh, we're going to need to invade a lot of places. If we don't select this, we lose what? 5% stability? That's fine. I don't care. 5% is not bad. One more. And then. What is this? Ah, integrate Roman D. Sure. Stability. Nice and Savoy. This is that one first. Time of research. Nice. This is a campaign that's going to last a while. I'm going to do a lot of this off screen as well, which is totally fine with me. 42. Nice. Get some military police as well. There you go. Stop losing stability real quick. So legitimacy. Um, I can't remember if I read this one. I probably did. So if you read this again, please go ahead. <coughs> the master's on a grand stage. Well, friends, to marching to his tune, nothing but a limitless future ahead of him. There are a new question: How will this control manifest itself in this new era? After many heated arguments with himself and his trusted advisor, Darnan has come up with three options to pick from. The first and simplest is to simply continue on now as he is and rule as La Matre. There's no reason to change something that has worked so well until now. Some of the remnant monarchists within his circle suggested Joseph crown himself emperor. This, they claim, would make him on par with the Germans who play at emperorship. They also feel that the notion of a new French emperor could help Darnan link his uh, regime to the glorious heights of Napoleon I. The third option is probably the most fanciful. They want Darnan to name Pius XII, the rightful bishop of Rome. Uh, elected during the exile. As a sole ruler of France, of course, this would be a name only as Darnan would retain total control of the nation, but ruled by Pope would light a fire under the deepest for the deeply religious French nation. After much agonizing thought, or agonizing thought, Darnan must come to a decision, and nurture on local committees. Although a decision established local committees, with the representation of both returning exiles and local inhabitants, which can settle property disputes on a case-by-case -case basis, has been broadly accepted by both groups as a fairest way to resolve the matter, these committees have increasingly faced iner inertia as they struggle to reach judgments satisfactory to all parties. Many argue that this inertia is largely due to the fact that these committees have received little direction from the, uh, Paris on how to re resolve disputes or who to favor. As such, we must now provide them with more extensive guidelines on how to settle the claims. Guidelines? Favor the locals. So, yeah. Uh, do we want confidence en saint Paris? Paris? There's that one. Should we do Le Matre de la France? Or should we do On Corone pour ma glory? Let me know which one of these three we should do overall. One, two, or three. And they'll keep going down that way too. Ah, they're still at war. Oh, those people are still at war. How oh, funny are they? They're real funny. Grand S? Sure. Almost 200 factories, not bad. Well, I guess, you know, we're busy using them all up for other things, but whatever. Better guns seem pretty nice to me. <coughs> oh, there goes Turkey. Bye, Turkey. Hardly knew you. And get some less done. Any other ships? No. Anything else over here? No, we're not joining the war. You got ding ding dong. So why would we do that? Go and keep training for now. So we got improved cruiser hulls. We got advanced carriers. Advanced heavy hulls. Yes, maybe. No. Super heavies. No, no dreadnoughts here for now. At least level 3, the very least. Go and save that for now. We're going we're gonna to keep improving that more. And Beaujon. Renovate Champagne. Much as it did during the first Valkyrie, the city of Reims came under direct enemy fire, and a large portion of the city were destroyed during the battles that the communists fought during the retreat towards Paris. The strategy can be used to both our advantage as we have the opportunity to re redesign the city with better infrastructure to support the population who wish to return home. Nice. After this, oh, that's going to look so good. We'll get a lot more factories to use. Which is a great thing. I should give this one too, but whatever. The man from Togo. The tiny former West African state of Togo lands protection government for some of the claimed lands we return to their hands. It's claiming not to only be rightful heirs of Deutsche West Africa, but also the true and rightful Suzerain, or the people of this region, and the lands of the Blight, Blight of Biafra. Um, should we give these largely worthless lands to these desperate Africans, or shall we deny them utterly completely? If we do so, we could potentially milk them for quite a decent fee, given their reputation as one of the only profitable portions of the now defunct Middle Africa. Never endanger them? Except when they pay a heavy price? No. If they want to go to war with us, so be it. We're ready for them. We build the industry. A hundred percent. hundred and ten percent. 
God, I can't wait to get more factories back. 202 is not bad, but... Oi. Uh, I knew they'd do that. As long as they don't attack immediately. Um, when are you guys going to kill each other off? That's a lot. Wow, you got a finger. You got a hand, don't you? Um, God's Bill on the third. What a guy. Oh, we got more civvies. Look at that. Or millies. Um, more naval bombers? Yeah, that'd be good. Ooh, and ooh, we do have armored cars as well, which is good to use too. Go up to five. Uh, that stuff is fine right there. I want bigger tanks too. That'd be nice. Um, what am I thinking of? As soon as I started doing something else, I forgot what I was doing. Burgundy region. The border regions now saw large-scale fighting as the Germans and the communists clashed in the Second Valkyrie. Mass Jew movement has damaged the infrastructure in the region and has required the attention of a government to rebuild. Nice. Let's keep expanding this as well. Good, good, good. Keep training, keep training, keep training. Um, planes will be looking all right. Trains are fine. Light tanks, medium tanks. Uh, I want them thicker. Like I say, they're not thick. We don't want them. That's words to live by. Also, uh, maybe we don't use those. Get another one of these. They're too slow. We don't want them. Grab one more and grab one more from here, too. It's fine. Not bad, not bad. Oh, let's go there. La Roche. The importance of the harbor of uh, <clears throat> La Roche has fallen ever since they lost against the British back in 1763 in La Guerre de Conquête, which largely sealed the fate of their New World colonial ambitions. With the new order in the world, we can once again turn to attention to the support for transatlantic trade with the New World allies, namely the continuation of the import of goods and materials flowing out of Canadian factories that helps us return home. Follow Lisbon, huh? Ah, the Germans are really doing a number on them. Yeah, the Germans will be very tough to beat. But I kind of anticipate that anyways. It's fine. No, 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 percent stability. We can take another hit. I just want to build. Build, 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 build. We need more rubber? No. We need more fuel? Absolutely. Any ships yet? Yes, we do. Is that a... Oh, that's what pretty nice. Oh, the busy Teen Empire came back. Look at that. Pablos. Well, I didn't realize that they were in the game. I think I gotta play them as well too now. Fuel, yeah. Always need more fuel. Fuel that's already, yes. Very, very nice. Only one rebellion in the Congo, or not the Congo, but Africa. Congo, Africa, same thing, basically, right? Right. There you go. And national recovery. <coughs> Although much remains to be done, the worst of the post-war devastation is now behind us, with the French economy having to stay and Germany to return to the country. Meanwhile, although some dissent and resistance lingers, the political scene has calmed down, the government is secure in its place, and broadly accepted, uh, if not universally loved. These worst is behind us, and now France can face the future. Most political stabilization, economic stabilization, revive the economy. With the worst of the post war chaos behind us, we can now direct more funds towards the French industry and set up a new government body tasked with revitalizing France's economy in order to negate the long term aftermath of the war and build economic soft power. Now look east, consolidate alliances. Uh, we'll see. Loose ends. What are the status of all six Lorraine? There are so many small, smaller uh, uh, diplomatic questions and other territorial disputes that we should seek to resolve as we assert our place in the world stage. Meanwhile, we can begin to rebuild our colonial empire by demanding that breakaway states submit to our protection. And I want to go through this one because why? Let's be pretty good. We get a research slot, that's why. New trade deals. We cannot achieve economic success without strong trading partners, and finding such trading partners will go a long way to buoying our status on the world stage. Thus, a new government committee will seek to draw up trade deals with nations around the world. And negotiate for mutually beneficial trade agreements and arrangements. Ooh, what is this? Very nice, very nice. Yep. Um, oh, I usually choose a consumer goods one. Just build like crazy. Just build like crazy. There you go. That's all I want. Just build like crazy. And then revive French cities. 
uh, urban areas and urban industry are absolutely essential to our economic success, and we're hit extremely hard by the war. A new round of investments aimed at restoring businesses and jobs to cities and rebuilding the many buildings which are so damaged will ensure that French cities become the centers of culture and success that they should be. Post syndicalist boom. Finally, the economy is back on its feet. The markets have more energy and money than ever, and France is fast becoming one of the most lucrative places in the world to do business. As companies around the world find favorable opportunities in our country through trade deals and native French businesses become widely respected and wealthy once again. Truly, the French miracle has arrived. Global economic power. As the Committee for the World Trade negotiates more and more successful deals and our economic interests in foreign countries across the world greatly increase, we can now declare ourselves a true world economic power, a force to be reckoned with in the world and a nation more than capable of exerting financial influence on foreign states, French shipyards. Before 1914, France was a world leader in shipbuilding, and as the economy grows at an unprecedented pace, we should look to revive this industry, both to sustain the current rate of growth and give France the maritime prowess required to truly claim the status of a great power. Look east. The great diplomatic question now facing us is that of Germany, with the perfidious Boches continuing to occupy Alsace Lorraine. Besides many former French territories and colonies still in the moment of weakness, it's essential that we determine our policy towards the Reich as we seek to carve out our place among the great powers. Consolidate alliances? Ooh. Oh, without our various allies around the world, we have achieved nothing, of course. Um, let's see. As such, we must repay their sacrifice with favorable trade terms and military aid, thus guaranteeing their, lo their loyalty to us continues, and we go arm and arm to the new era. We'll see. Review the military, of course. In the immediate aftermath of the liberation, the French military went into some declines, but funds were redirected to reconstruction, and many soldiers were lost in the course of the war now. That France is back on its feet, however. We can again increase military funding, beginning with investments in tactical advancement and expansion of the officer corps. But I think we're going to end it there and uh, rebuild the lower valley. So uh, I think the next one episode might be the last one. We'll see. I don't know. But if you enjoyed the video, because we did really well. I was surprised that we actually were able to invade down here. We lost a couple divisions trying to invade um, southern France. My bad. It is what it is. Whatever. But oh, overall, I think their sacrifice was well worth it. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we will continue to try to expanding our territory. And don't forget to let me know which one of these three we should do. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.